Calendly conversion tracking, Google Ads, Meta, whatever. So here's a little bit of a more in-depth look at the message version. So this is the perfect version if you don't want an external thank you page. Perhaps you're on a free version of Calendly and you just want a simple conversion tracking without an external thank you page. So now that I do anything like choose the time, we are getting these messages Calendly date and time selected, for example. All right, and when we actually schedule the event, we get an event from Calendly, Calendly.event scheduled. So the Calendly iframe is sending messages to our website, kind of the parent thing. Um, and we can listen for the Calendly event scheduled uh, message. And when we hear it, we can then send the conversion information to Google Ads, Meta, wherever, or just send a conversion event to Google Analytics or Google Analytics 4 or any platform that you're using. So this method is nice because you don't have to mess around with the custom thank you page and you don't need a paid plan of Calendly. However, the thing that's missing with this method is that we don't get the full details of the conversion. So if you, for example, have multiple appointments and they might have a different price for them, then you can't get the dynamic price. It's always going to have a fixed value. You're going to be setting in, well, Google Ads, for example, or in Google Tag Manager. And it also does not allow us to send the Google ads enhanced tracking because we don't get the information like their phone number, email or name in this message. So both methods have their pros and cons. This is the kind of the free method. And I'm going to also walk you through the custom thank you page redirection method, which allows us to kind of do the perfect setup.